Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the subset. From our previous video, meron na tayong introduction for the sets. At pwede nyo mapanood yun dito. As well as, ilalagay ko yung link sa ating description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Let us define first what is a subset. A subset is a set whose elements are all members of another set. Now, let's go with the symbol. For the symbol, itong ginagamit natin symbol, it simply means is a subset of. And then another symbol, yung pwede nyo makikita dito, the symbol, this one, this symbol means is a proper subset of. Later on, pupuntahan natin yan. So what we have here is set A and set B. Pag binasa natin ito into symbols, set A is a subset of of set B. Simple yung ibig sabihin yan, which means set A is a subset of set B. Now, for you to understand well what is a, sub what is a subset, we have here the problem or example. Find the subsets of set A in which the elements are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, for the subset, ilist down muna natin lahat ng subsets na meron tayo dito. Ang subsets natin dito, first, ay yung walang element, which is the null set. At yung first type of subset natin para hindi kayo mali dito. Next, punta naman natin yung single elements. Lahat ng single elements dito ay subset ng set A. So, sir, paano natin susulat yun? Here. So, natin dito ang this one, yung one lang muna, then comma, two, comma, three, comma, four. So let me repeat again. In any set, laging kasama sa mga subsets yung null set, yung walang element. Ito pa lang nilista natin, are those subsets with a single element. So, zero, two single elements. Ang next natin ay yung tindadalawa naman yung elements. Let's start with one comma two, followed by one comma two, one comma three. Combination lang natin. Next, one comma four. So we are done with 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. Next naman natin combination with 2. 2, comma 3. Hindi na pwede yung 2, comma 1 ha. Dahil yung 2, comma 1 natin is the same as 1, comma 2. Next, 2, comma 4 naman. Hindi pa tayo tapos kasi hindi pa natin nakakombine yung 3. Yung 3 naman, that is 3, comma, 4. So, subset with 0 element, subset with single element, subset with 2 elements. So, meron pa tayong susunod in which ang subset natin ay meron namang 3 elements. Let's adjust this paper. So, paano natin ilista yun? Ito yung una. 1, 2, 3. Next, 1, 3, 4. So, okay na tayo sa 1. Next naman natin ay yung may mga 2. 2, 3, 4. Next, is yung ating 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Ah, may kulang pa tayo. Isa pang 1, 2, 4. So, meron lang tayong apat na subset with 4 elements. So, lastly, kung meron tayong 0, 1, 2 elements, 3 elements, yung mismong set na meron tayo, itong set na to, is also a subset. Adjust natin yung paper natin. 
So, yung last subset natin is the set itself. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, you need to be familiar kasi maraming mga bata nahihirapan dito dahil sa possible combinations. Baron, tatandaan nyo dito. Laging kasama si empty set. Tapos, yung mismong, element, yung mismong set itself is a subset. Pero, syempre, meron tayong na-mention kanina na proper sa kayong proper subset. Let us go with the two types of subset. Sa two types of subset natin, meron tayong tinatawag na proper subset tapos improper subsets. Pag sinabi namin natin proper subset is one that contains a few elements in the original sets where are, whereas an improper subset contains every element of the original set along with the null set. Now, tingnan niyo mabuti dito guys. For the proper subset, dito, sa inyo mabuti ha, sa first example natin, ang proper subset natin dito ay yung mga subsets na kung saan mas konti yung element compared sa given set. Meron tayong 1, 2, 3, and 4. Ibig sabihin, itong 1, 2, 3, 4 natin, itong last subset na nakuha natin, this is your improper subset kasi pares sila ng bilang ng given set yung proper subsets natin okay ay yung mga subsets na mas konti yung element starting dito dito at dito and syempre included din si null set okay now para mas maliwanagan tayo let's have set A ilista natin what are the proper subsets. Lista mo natin lahat ng proper subsets. Proper subsets. Start tayo kay null set. Followed by single element sets. Yung mga single elements tayo. So, syempre, unahin natin si A. Then, followed by B. Followed by C. Zero element, single element. Punta naman natin yun yung two elements. We have A comma B, A, B. Tapos A, C. Tapos meron tayong last pair, which is the B, C. Ngayon, kung mapansin nyo, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? Ngayon, okay na tayo sa 2 elements. Ang susunod natin ay yung 3 elements. Itong 3 elements naman natin ay tinatawag nating improper subset. Ang reason, dahil meron lang tayong 3 elements, yung 3 element subset natin is the improper. Magiging improper lang siya kapag konti lang yung elements ng subset na yun, compared sa ating original set. So, we have A, B, and C. Ngayon, another thing na tuturo ko sa inyo dito is kung paano ba malalaman kung ilan yung total subsets ng isang given set. As you can see, pag pinagsama natin yung proper and then proper, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 subsets. What if, ang tanong sa inyo sa periodical test or sa quiz, how many subsets do we have in a given set, in a given set wherein the elements are 5 elements or 6 elements? It will take you time para ma-solve yun or malista lahat yun. So, meron tayong formula. Formula for the number of subsets kasama yung improper is gagamitin natin yung formula na 2 raised to n. Where n is equal to the number of elements. So, testing yun natin kung makuha ba natin yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 subsets. Here, in this given, in this given set A, A, B, C, meron tayong N is equal to 3 because our element is equal to 3. Using this formula, 2 raised to n 
that is 2 raised to 3. So 2 raised to 3 is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2. That is equal to 8. As you can see, we have a total of 8 subsets. Okay? So I hope guys na nakuha niyo yung mismong lesson natin dyan about the subsets and the types of subsets. So syempre, sisigit ako kayo ng another type of set which is yung tinatawag natin power set. Let us give definition for the power set. The power set is said to be the collection of all the subsets. It is presented by P of A. Okay? P of A. Ngayon, paano ba natin makakuha yung ating power set? Sabi kasi dito, collection. Before natin makuha yung power set, we need to list down all the subsets of set A in which the elements are 1 and 5. So, start muna tayo sa ating subsets, which is yung empty. So, dito tayo. Sunod natin yung single elements. First, is 1. Another subset with single element is 5. Next natin, or by the way, this one is also equivalent to this one. Pwede nyo gamitin yan. And lastly, yung set itself is a subset, so that is 1, 5. Ngayon, paano natin ilagay yung ating power set? For the power set, ito siya. P of A. Power set of set A. So, gawin nyo dyan, ilista nyo lahat. Gawa kayo nito, symbol na to, ipasok nyo yung null set, ito na lang lagay nyo. Comma, ito. Ito sinasabi natin collection. Sunod ay, ito naman. Sunod ay ito. So, as you can see, Indigay natin sa isang, sa isang lagayan lahat ng subsets ng set A ng elements ay 1 to 5 at ito na yung tinatawag nating power set. So I hope guys you learned something from this video about the definition of subsets, how to get the subsets of a set, the types of subset, and power set. As a routine, in our video, let me ask you, how many subsets do we have in set A wherein the elements are, here are the elements, 5, 4, and 3. Please comment down below what is your answer. Again, I'm just asking ilang subsets na mayroon tayo hindi nyo kailangan ilista. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but i-hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!